Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. <laughs> I know, how awesome is that? One of our clients down here at the stable actually custom made this for me, and I think that is just so sweet. You can see we've got Leia over here and Buster and Rocky over here. I love it. It's awesome. And we have even more cheery news coming along the way because we got a lot to get done today. So let's get to it. We're gonna be getting our full grain order minus the bags that we already got and taking a look at everything. I think I can actually fit everything on the back of the truck, which is something normally I don't do just because it's right at the capacity of what the truck can haul. But because our grain order is a little bit smaller this time around, I'm able to actually put it in the back of the truck. This makes it easier for, well, when I get there, I should be able to just put the pallet right on the bed of the truck and take it down here. And then I should be able to unload it right off the back of the truck into the horse stable. At least that's the plan. And just to clarify, there's nothing wrong with our horse trailer. It, it really does a good job of hauling the grain. If we can just get them loaded right on the truck without needing to do any stacking that saves me a load of work and a load of time I figure hey if i can do it might as well right we have arrived at the feed store but it is quite busy here i'm actually waiting in line to get loaded up either there's a large amount of people in the area that are getting horses or more people are coming to the same feed store we are whatever the case is i'm waiting in line Well, my plan ended up not working the way I expected it to, but they were really nice and ended up letting me take a pallet. I do have a full pallet, so I could, it's easy to unload when I get home, and it was easier than loading it into the trailer. So I will take that as a win, but I was not able to just drive the pallet jack right onto the truck. Just sadly, the truck's just a shy too low for their deck plate, but I still consider this a win. Alrighty, now that we have the grain at the stable, let's get this off the truck and into the barn. Good news guys, we have the pallet inside the horse stable and this was a lot fuller. As you can see, the bags are getting stacked in there for me. I have some volunteer help that showed up here. We're gonna get started and turn this full pallet to an empty pallet. Our pallet is empty and our bins are full. Man, that is awesome. We can finally check that off the list here for a little bit. Time to move on to the next thing. Now I just gotta put this skid steer back where I found it. Neat little fact for you guys, our stairs, I guess something had happened to them on the one side and so it ended up starting to sag over here. So dad's here and he's fixing that. Were you planning on doing that today? No. Yeah, I didn't think you were, but either way, it looks nice. It's all leveled up now, nice and flush. So they haven't seen you or talked to you in a little bit. So how you doing? Busy. You busy? Busy. What's new? What's new? <laughs> I don't know what's new. Yeah, we're still planning on the swing. That's gonna hopefully go up the end of March, beginning of April. So that's something to look forward to this spring, right? So do you have any horse tips or facts that you'd like to share with the viewers? All right, so a couple of videos back, Joel was putting ophthalmolic solution into I don't even know what that word means. I don't know what, he, what was I doing? Uh, uh, who had a hurt eye? Oh, Roni. A lot of times when you guys are probably looking at that, he didn't get a chance to show you how he got that into the horse's eye. There's a trick to that. So here's the tip. When you're gonna have to put anything into a horse's eye, what you wanna do is put the ointment on your finger and make sure it's clean. Horse's eyelid, you pull the eyelid down and you put it on the bottom of the eyelid and then just let it close and it'll go right into the eye. You don't have to squirt it in. Also, for any viewers that got a little squirmish there while he opened up his eyelid, I didn't tell him to do that, but he just he just really likes to go into it when he's explaining things. Kind of makes you wonder where I get it from, am I right? <laughs> Next up on our list is hay. I know, it almost feels like I just got hay, but we're out again, so I gotta go get another eight round bales. I'm gonna hook up to our wagon and see what we got left. Welcome to our bale storage area. Isn't it beautiful? It's really kind of crazy just to see how empty things got here, isn't it? This is all that's left. Today we're grabbing eight bales. So let's get them on the wagon and see what we have left. All 
Alrighty guys, there we go. We've got eight on the wagon and this is what we've got left. You can count them with me, but there is 13 round bales left. The good news is we're on the last week of February, which means these guys are gonna be going into March which is awesome. You take that number of round bales and you combine that with uh, the 16 large square bales that we have left, and that will get us through March and into April. Now just a matter of when the hay crop will start growing. Will we have a cold spring or will we have a warm spring? I have no control over the weather and I have no idea what kind of a spring we're gonna be having. Earliest we've had hay is May. Actually, mid-May we've gotten hay before. And then, of course, the latest that we've gotten hay is the end of June. So we need to try to get the hay to last through into May. That being said, if we have a warmer spring, then that means that the grass is going to start growing. And that grass growing up means that that's less hay the horses need to eat, which means we're using less round bales. We'll see. If it's a cold spring, we're probably going to need to get some more hay. If it's a warm spring, we just might be able to squeak by. Time will tell. Definitely wish we had a few more round bales sitting here though. That's for sure. Here's to hoping we don't have a dry year and we got lots of hay coming. Man, that would make me happy. All right, let's get these bales home because we need to get feeding horses. All righty guys, we're back. Hey Tucker, that's okay buddy. Yeah, you guys ready to get some food? Let's get started measuring out that feed. By the looks of things, looks like I only got about an hour and a half left of daylight. So let's get moving. Ugh. It's nice to have grain in the bins again. Guys, I have some fantastic news. <laughs> it's time to let the horses in. Right, Buster? So what we're gonna need to do is get the pasture set up down here. <laughs> They're also ready to be fed, it's amazing. Just gonna close this door up here. So before we can let those guys in, we need to give these guys some of their food, huh? You guys ready for some food? Here we go. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. All right. There you go. There you go. See what I tell you guys, designated spots. Alrighty, these guys are all set for the afternoon. All we'll need to do is give them just a little bit of hay. For the most part though, they're pretty set. All right, are you guys ready to be let in? <laughs> That's an obvious yes, right Spitfire? Woo, Suede almost ran me over there. There goes Duke. There goes Tucker. Hey, Spitfire, Obi, Skywalker, and Argento. Now, Argento's been doing this thing where he goes into William's stall. So we're just gonna make sure that he goes into his stall. There you go, Argento. That's good. We're here to let the horses in, and they're a little hungry, so I think they're gonna be a little quick coming in. Hey, Declan. Hey, Jack. Hey, Danny. Hey, Poncho. All right, so far so good. Hey, Archer. Good to see you, my man. Weather, looking lovely as ever. Hey, Gavin. Hey, Samson. Hey, Sriracha, good to see you. Roni, looking good, looking good. He brushed his hair. Hey, Champ. Hey, Rebel. Hey, George. Hey, Casino. Look at his hair just flowing. So majestic. Sub Docs. And William. And so much better than the last video. They all went into their stalls, no issues. Now we're talking. Now that all those lovely horses are in, we're gonna use what little daylight we have remaining this beautiful afternoon and get our wagon put back down. So we're gonna take three bales off and take those and set them over here, open them up and bring them on out so they can meet their glorious end feeding a horse. No other lovely way to go, I might add. All right, let's open these bales up. Got some good looking bales right here. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this feeder needed some hay. Here we go. Super sharp blade. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. It it got it got most of it. We have not one, but three round bales out in the pastures, all ready for the horses. So let's head back up inside the stable and let out these ponies. Now for evening feeding, which I mean, look at that sunset guys. What's pretty cool is that during the spring, the sun doesn't set over there. The sun sets over there. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys the, sun, the sunsets in the spring. But anyway, to get the whole process started, what we need to do is let out Tucker. Hi Tucker. Bye Tucker. 
Now that Tucker's out, next thing we need to do is get Hay out for Poncho. And then let Poncho out. And then once that's done, it's pretty much just like normal. And of course, this isn't all just for Poncho. Some of this is for the donkeys as well. See how they're doing. You guys ready for some snacks? There you go, boys. Enjoy your midnight snack. Buster, Rocky, you all have a good night. Well, I was just putting the pitchfork back and look who's back. Tucker. <laughs> Tucker, trust me, buddy. There's a lot of hay out there for you to eat. Come on. There you go, buddy. Until further notice. Let's hang that up right there. Okay? You stay on that side of the barn. I still can't get over how good looking of a sign that is. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Poncho, you ready? Come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. That's my boy. That's my boy. It's a beautiful evening, isn't it? All righty, I'm gonna go let out some horses. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Keep watching the water bowl and just let me know if they do any funny business. Thanks guys, appreciate it. <sighs> really is a beautiful view, isn't it? Hope you guys enjoyed the serenity of watching the horses get some water before they head out to the pasture. <laughs> George, George, my man, you gotta go that way. No, I'm serious, you gotta, you gotta go that way. Really is peaceful, isn't it? Got some good news, guys, we finished feeding horses. But that doesn't mean we hit the end of the video just yet. So we have more stuff that has shown up from our Amazon list. Uh, there's no other way for me to just truly express my gratitude than I just wanted to, anybody that decided to share their name and didn't want to send something anonymously, of which a lot of you have chosen to send things anonymously, I uh, just wanted to reach out and say thank you for what you did to show you my gratitude for the gift that you've done. Because even though these are all medicines and tools, these are all things that are gonna help our horses out and we really appreciate it. So, let's get started. Aquaspot. Martha, thank you so much. This is something, uh, what we do is we actually take this and we will drip it on the horse's mane, and this does an amazing job of keeping ticks off the horses, and that's gonna be what we need coming into spring, so thank you. Martha, again, thank you for the hoof hardener. Really appreciate that. This does really good at keeping the horse's hooves, well, hard. In situations where we're having, say, a wet spring, which has a very strong potential coming up, this is going to be what we're using to keep them from developing abscesses. So, thank you. We've got some fly spray from Daniel. And by the way, thank you for the advice. <laughs> I appreciate it. That gave me a good laugh. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. This, this, is, this is something we're going to be putting on the horses every single day coming up in summer. We're going we're gonna to go through this quick. Michelle, thank you so much for the laugh and for the MTG and the mud shield powder. This is gonna do great for the horses with their hooves, and this is gonna do great for the horses with their skin. Uh, both are great during rainy conditions, so thank you. Sherita, thank you so much. This is gonna come in handy for those hot summer months coming ahead. We really appreciate it. And thank you for the note. It's encouraging to see just how much you guys enjoy the videos. Linda, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This is gonna do great for getting into those hard to reach cracks on their hooves. Thank you so much, and I'm glad you love the channel. Dave and Kim, Thank you so very much for the gift cards. We really appreciate it. For anybody that's wondering, we're taking the amount that we're making on the gift cards and we're actually putting that towards bigger purchases on Amazon that uh, we just didn't really feel comfortable putting on the list. Thank you, Dave and Kim. Really appreciate that too. And I'll let you guys know what this ends up going towards. Of course, of course. Make sure you're subscribed, guys, to keep up to date on what's going on, right? <laughs> I say it every video. Well, just like last video, guys, wow, you guys are incredibly generous. It kind of just blows my mind. I, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I did not think we were gonna have this kind of a response. I was expecting like one thing. <laughs> not expecting this much stuff. So um, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with your generosity. Thank you so much guys for all that you do. And it is gonna be on that awesome note that we are gonna be drawing an end to the video for today. 
It's really touching to see how much you guys enjoy following along in these videos, and it means a lot to me. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for all that you guys have done. If you guys haven't, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you know the drill. And for the question of the day, it is going to be, what kind of a season do you think we're going to have? Do you think we're gonna have a rainy season? Do you think we're gonna have a dry season? Let me know down in the comments below. It'd be kind of fun to tune in at the end of the year and see what it ended up being. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.